heading back to school, which is happening soon, can stir up all kinds of anxiety. So how can you set your students at ease and to get them hyped up for the classroom, specifically about math? hyped up in a positive way. This morning, we are checking in with our math guru for tips on how to start off on the right foot. Vanessa Vicaria is here. Good to have you in studio. Listen, you've been here, there, and everywhere. This I'm so excited to be here. Let's get, let's get hyped up in a positive way. Okay, I did just tell Vanessa in the break that I would rather eat my own eyeballs than take math again, which I don't think is the attitude that we're looking for heading into school in the fall. Uh, so much of it can feel very Marx-driven. You know, mm -hmm. I, I yes. think about my own kids who are in grade 12 this year, and you're looking at entrance requirements, your first tip is to forget about marks and focus on the learning. How uh, yeah. do we do that? Okay, so the first thing is it really is important to realize so much of the anxiety around getting back into math class is because our kids think it's just about getting marks, okay? Think about what our kids have been doing all summer. They have been learning. Mm -hmm. They've been learning things every day. There's curiosity, there's wonder, there's no marks. And as a result, they pick up new information. I think one of the best things you can do is frame math and everything in school as just another opportunity to learn. Start asking them now, what did you learn yesterday? Like right now, what, what did you learn in July? What did you learn at camp? Once they start talking that way, you can frame this as just another opportunity mm. to do what they've been doing now and to focus on the fun aspects of gaining new knowledge. So stop, stop trying to elevate it up here and just make it part of the everyday. It's what they're doing. We learn every day. So what's the difference? Now you're going to go to school and you're going to maybe more explicitly learn. But if you frame it as something they're already doing, it's mm. not a whole new thing. And the goal is not to like get marks, it's to just gain new knowledge. It really can flip the switch. Uh, next up, this sounds fairly straightforward, but making some room for mental math. What, what do you mean by that? Well, okay, so I, I actually am thinking more making room for not only mental math, but the mental health required to let our brains do math at rest. And by that I mean, we kind of jam pack our kids, right? It's kind of like we want them to do everything and they're really programmed and we want them to have all the opportunities. But part of the reason I just, you know, during summer they are gaining knowledge and able to kind of like lie in the backyard or do whatever and let it percolate is because they have that time and space. So I actually recommend scheduling. I don't know about you, but if I don't schedule my meditation time into my calendar, like I'm not going to do it. Or yeah. like schedule in time for kids to just dream and imagine journal about how they felt in math class. You okay. know what I mean? Like schedule free time where they have nothing scheduled that is programmed and allow them to have time for their minds to wander. And even if they try to fill it with their phone? And even if they try to fill, you, literally I would be like, no phone free time. I, I have to do that to myself and yes, I'm a I grown woman. Yeah, no fair. <laughs> uh, with math, it is easy to get ahead of yourself. With mm. worry, you start worrying about things that don't even exist yet. Uh, you know, if you don't get one math concept, you feel like the whole thing is lost. Yeah, and I think this is a big one for parents too because it's so easy to be like, oh my gosh, my kid like made this mistake or failed this test. Like, what? Are, where is their future going? You know, we preach growth mindset. We talk about how mistakes are opportunities for growth. But it's one thing to say that to a kid and another to enact that. One thing we can do when a kid brings home a test or has made a mistake or didn't hand in something on time, instead of being like, oh my God, how could you? I would frame it as... Can I ask what you were thinking? Like, what were you thinking when you like when you didn't fill in this question on your test and left it blank? Like, what was going through your mind? And that's a really good opportunity for them to express how they felt, to talk about different alternatives, to get them um, their brains starting to think. When I make a mistake or don't, you know, necessarily get the outcome I want, I'm still learning a lesson. That also makes school less scary because if we can look at it as you don't need to be right all the time, you need to learn and mistakes help you learn. And guess what? You have to take risks in math class to learn. And when you take risks, you're going to make mistakes. It kind of takes the fear out of it. Vanessa, speaking of taking the fear out of things, I'm really glad you stopped by. This is perfect timing to have you here. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.